Welcome to Crispy's Theme Park Adventures, guys. Today, Magic Kingdom is open until 11 o'clock. We're gonna see how many rides we can get done between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. It is a few minutes after 8 and we are heading over toward the People Mover, which currently has the lowest wait time of 25 minutes. So, hopefully as fireworks start, the time will time, start to go down the a time lot will more. Start to it is 8.10 and we are officially in line for People Mover. Let's see how long it takes us to get on. People Mover had a posted wait of 25 minutes. Turned out to be more about 10, 15 minutes. So hopefully the ride lines work that way for the rest of the night. And we'll be getting quite a few attractions. Greetings intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover presented by Enterprise. I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster maps, there's really nothing like today in tomorrow. Your express train keeps on rolling through the future. The great part about the people mover at night is you get beautiful views of Tomorrowland and the castle. on her belt buckle. All right guys, it's 829. We got one ride down with the people mover. Now we're going to head over to the teacups that have dropped down from a 35 minute wait to a 15 minute wait. Now it said 15 minutes, but we're already in the corral and we will be on the next set of teacups. Just getting off the teacups, that's two rides down. We're about to walk right on over to Winnie the Pooh, which says that it has a 20 minute wait, but I have a feeling it's gonna be less. It is 8.40 and we are in line for Pooh Bear. Let's see how long this wait truly is. It's also got an awesome cue for the kiddos for them to play while they wait in line when there is a line. Well, it's been 10 minutes and we are on poo. So let's go meet him. In the 100 Well, Winnie the Pooh was posted for 20 minutes and we were on and off within 13 minutes. It is 8.58. The Tomorrowland Speedway has a five minute wait. And an awesome tip is if you don't want to go wait for fireworks, the Speedway is a good place to watch them. And you get to do a ride at the same time. Thunder Mountain's another good one.
another ride down that is four right, and it down. is only 9 12 as you can tell the fireworks are going off and we are on track to have a pretty good night in just three hours since we want to keep watching fireworks while we do our challenge and Dumbo makes number five it is 925 hitting ride number six the barnstormer You know, it's been a while since I went on the Barnstormer, and it's a little bit quicker than I remember. It's a pretty fun little family coaster. Definitely a great step up for little ones. There is some rain coming in. Hopefully it doesn't rain on our parade, so to say. But I am hopeful that we'll at least get 10 rides down. We're about to go hit number 7 with the Little Mermaid, and there's still quite a few indoor attractions that we could hit. We are in the queue for the Little Mermaid and we are starting to feel some raindrops. Our plan is to hit this and then hopefully Peter Pan, Small World, and Haunted Mansion to reach at least 10 rides for the night. Uh oh, Scuttle's missing from his nest. It is 9.43, we just got through with the Little Mermaid, which was our seventh ride. And we are going to change our plans and go to Mickey's Philhar Magic since it's raining out. And try to hopefully wait out this storm a little bit. Always keep your eyes out for the smallest hidden Mickeys. It's just about 10.20. We just got out of Philhar Magic. And now we need to figure out two last things within 40 minutes to hit at least 10 rides. It's looking like Small World has a 10 minute wait, and I think we're gonna hit that, and then run over to Pirates, which right now has a 30 minute wait. But as long as we get in line, we'll get to ride it and hit our 10th ride in the night, which 10 rides in three hours is not bad. 27, and we are in line for Small World. Let's see how long the line really takes. <laughs> it's 10.48. We are on our way to the Haunted Mansion that has a 35 minute wait. But, as long as we get in line, we are golden. It's 10.50 and we made it in line. Now to wait and get on our 10th ride of the night. All in all through the rain and everything, we still got in those 10 rides. And honestly, three hours at the end of the night, you can knock out quite a bit. So if you don't want to waste Genie Plus and the park's open late, go for it. Especially if you don't mind missing fireworks. Now with all that being said, you can always catch the fireworks on some of the rides like I showed on the Speedway. It's always a good option where you could get a ride in plus see some fireworks. You're not going to see the projections, but you will get those beautiful views of the actual fireworks themselves. And with all that being said, don't forget to keep a little magic in your everyday life. Share that magic, you never know who's having a rough day. A smile or a kind gesture just might turn their day around. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.